from Ronald Reagan, who once said, We can't help everyone, but everyone can help someone. Now to Mr. Bergman with Chromebook information. Have a great day, Bruins. Good morning, Bruins. I am Mr. Bergman, your e-learning specialist. Uh, back to talk a little bit more about your Chromebooks, Canvas, uh, Google, uh, and some other important features that uh, you need to pay close attention to. Um, at the end of the day, I will show you how to get on to your uh, quiz that you need to take for college prep. Um, it is for a grade. You need to get at least an 80% or better. Um, you do get two tries on it, but honestly, if you've been paying attention, it's a very, very simple, easy quiz, and it should give you an easy A plus uh, for your first college prep grade. I'm going to step over to the computer now and show you a few more features. Teachers, if you want to have students follow along, that would be great as well. Um, remember, kids, from your, uh, from your Chrome browser, if you click on your home icon in the upper left-hand corner, you should pull up your student launch page, and it has the correct links to Canvas, Skyward, Star. Um, you have a link to your Google Drive account, um, a Google Startup Guide. So if you're struggling with using Google Docs, Sheets, Forms, anything like that, there's a bunch of how-tos in here. You've also got your Getting to Know Your Chromebook, which we're going to come back to this in just a moment. Um, but that's got uh, a bunch of quick answers to uh, um, information and features about your Chromebooks. Um, down a little bit further, there is the Belzer Club sign up. Remember, clubs start on Monday. So um, you want to go in here and sign up for clubs um, by Monday. Okay? You don't have to do it right now, but by Monday you want to get signed up for clubs because they do start on Monday. Okay? Um, moving on in your, uh, um, in your how Chromebook how-tos. A um, couple little features you should, you should know about. In that left-hand corner of, your, of the bottom of your screen, you've got the little hourglass, little search tool, and that pulls up um, all sorts of features within your Chromebook, but it also allows you to search for apps. So pretty soon, some of your teachers will be asking you to download certain apps to use for um, doing homework at home, and that's where you're going to do that. You search in that, you click on here, and then you search in that, um, that URL right there, and then it finds the applications, and then you can download those, okay? Um, on your home screen, um, if you uh, uh, right click on the lower portion there, you're able to see like what network you're connected to. So if you're at home and you're trying to get on your home Wi-Fi, that's where you would do that. Um, you've also got information about how much power is left. Um, so if you are at home and you obviously don't have a charger, you can monitor that. You can turn down your screen brightness and things like that and volume to help save power. And you can also do a shutdown here. I know I talked last week about how you need to shut down your Chromebook regularly. Um, that's one of the places that you can do that. You can come in here, click there, and then shut down um, to uh, restart your, your Chromebook. Okay? Um, I've been around classrooms, and I've seen most of you already using your Chromebooks in these, in these various features. One is a laptop, a tablet, a stand, or like a tent um, when you're viewing videos and stuff in class. So most of you have already figured out the different features and ways that you can set up your Chromebook. Um, it does have a touch screen, uh, which, mo again, most of you have figured out. Um, so if you want to click on, on something on the screen, you just touch that icon, right? If you want to right click, you just use two fingers, okay? Um, you can scroll, swipe, and drag, um, uh, again, with your fingers. Um, you can swipe up from the bottom of the screen to show or hide your shelf. Um, that's like all the, that's kind of like your taskbar at the bottom. Uh, and then you can zoom in and out on most applications um, by simply uh, touching the area with two fingers at once and either spreading them apart to zoom in or pinching them together to zoom out. Okay? Again, it doesn't work on all web pages and apps, but, but it works on most. Okay? Um, you, uh, uh, you can bookmark things, and I'm not going to go through this, but you guys have access to this, this, this page that I'm viewing, and you can go through here and figure out how you need to bookmark things. But it's pretty simple. You just go to the little settings, the, the hamburger icon in the upper right-hand corner, and from there it opens up bookmarks and favorites and all those kind of things. Okay? Uh, and then you can add websites to your bookmarks. Okay? So if teachers are asking you to do that, that's where you would do that from. And there's some, some how-tos on practicing in here. Um, but because of time constraints, I'm not going to go through all that. Also, um, this, is, this has some, some, some important features with the keyboard. Um, so you might notice that there aren't numbers on your keyboard for your Lenovo. However, um, if, you, uh, if you check out this little shortcut, it'll explain where the numbers are and how you um, can use all of those features as well. Okay? Um, there's also a bunch of keyboard shortcuts and how you use those, um, and you're welcome to look at those um, when you have more free time. Uh, back at the home page, we want to go to Canvas, and I'm going to show you how to access your, um, your quiz. Okay? So if you go to Canvas and get logged in, usually you're on this dashboard screen at home. 
Uh, let me go back here. And it's going to show all of your, your classes, OK? Um, and you also have a um, to-do lists and like that kind of stuff on your right-hand side. Um, we want to go into your college prep class. All of you should have a college prep course, OK? If you go to that, it should look, if this will ever load, it should look like this, OK? You should have college prep. 2016, 2017, Belzer logo, and some quick links to things like the Belzer blog, where you can read our school newspaper, Skyward, um, a module for college prep, and some other resources as well. And if you scroll down, uh, it also has an assignment summary, which, as you see, you guys have a quiz to take. You're going to want to click on that, OK? This is due by Monday. We may not have enough time to finish today, but it's not a time limit. So if you start it today in college prep and don't finish, not a problem. You can finish it during Monday's college prep as well. But you need to have it done by Monday at 11.59. That is when it is due, OK? And you need to have an 80% or better in order to be able to take your uh, laptop home, OK, uh, for homework, to be able to check it out, which we'll start doing next week. You just want to click on the Take the Quiz icon there, and you can begin taking this Belzer Technology Proficiency Quiz. Um, if you don't know an answer, go back to your student launch page. Um, use the Getting to Know Your Chromebook. Most of the answers are right there. Or use the Google Startup Guide. But the answers are within this, this, this home page right here, and especially the Getting to Know Your Chromebook. So if you're struggling with anything, go back to that. Okay? Um, it's a pretty simple quiz. Should not take you very long. It's worth 12 points. And it is your first grade for college prep. Okay. Um, why don't you guys go ahead and get started on that? And um, again, you need to have it done by Monday, OK? Good luck, and have a great day, Bruins.